remodeling of root home is upon us everything is cleared out i actually invested in four of the iron chests and they have a big big inventory it's like the same as your character inventory it is awesome it is so nice and four of them pretty much held everything that was occupying the interior of root home uh, except for these berries which i apparently left on the floor let's see if i got some room in the last chest i don't think i do though i think it's totally full yeah including some of my equipment stuff uh so we'll leave the berries in our inventory for now and we're just gonna go through and poof tear the whole thing down This is kind of satisfying a little bit, to be honest with you. Just break out all the foundations and I'm just going to let the thing crumble. There it goes. Goodbye, Root Home. We're going to improve you, make you bigger, better, faster, and stronger. As soon as we pick up all of the stuff that we've dumped into you. Just by holding E and walking around. <laughs> Wow, I didn't realize I'd put so much stuff into it. So the new plan and the reason why I'm picking all this stuff up is one, it's clutter. And two, I plan on making like a wood stone hybrid style base. And I think it's going to be, oh, I, my inventory is actually full. Wow. I think it's what's going to look the best. But to have the most structural integrity, we want to make stone level foundations. Oh, and these look so much nicer, actually. Uh, let's do one more. And I'm going to do one more on the other side, too. One of these puppies. Okay, there. Now, I'm going to get pretty creative since this is our forever home. And I'm going to start doing some advanced rotation. We've got a preliminary layout to what I'm kind of wanting Root Home to look like with this new build. Uh, so this is half of a foundation. And the only way I could get this to snap here, I was tinkering around this, the only way I could get the snap was with the staircase, but we're gonna take that away because we don't want that permanently there. Uh, maybe I could get it to snap off this guy now. Yeah, we can, okay. This is gonna be the entrance to our, to our base. This will be the entrance right here. I like that quite a bit. Now let's see if we can't seal this off with some advanced rotation uh doop doop okay are you gonna snap all right how are you gonna look come on i can't see it uh oh you look a little wonky you look a little, little wonky once you've been advanced rotated so let's try i was afraid that might happen because sometimes the advanced rotation stuff gets oh <laughs> Let's advance rotate that back to reset. Sometimes the advanced rotation stuff doesn't come out looking that hot. Oh, are you weird? Reset, reset. There we go. Okay, we're gonna stack these. This is basically scaffolding. Because what I wanna try to do is snap this advanced rotatedly It's not right there to so that. Okay, it's still off. It's still slightly off. I'm looking for I'm looking to create snap points. So we're getting super creative with the building stuff. We're going to push this. Push this to the limits. So since that comes off. This is going to be an upside down wall. Since that comes off weird, can we snap you to this upside down wall for a better look? That looks even worse. TBH. All right, maybe, maybe we don't get advanced rotatey crazy here. Because it's not looking great. I want to do something really cool with like a like a big circular entrance uh, to the to the the new and improved root home, but that might not be the play. We'll play we'll play around with it a little bit more, Tinker. 
see if we can't come up with a, a good solution. But for now, you get some of those, just to know that I need to return to you. What I'd like to do next is elevate this floor up. So if I can do... Maybe I should go one deeper, right? Yeah, let's go one deeper. So, oh, my torch is almost busted. I have been in the build zone. There we go. Been in the build zone, not focusing. Let's go a little bit deeper. Uh, I'm going to foundation out this whole area. So you probably saw as I was like breaking down old root home that I had a healthy mix of foundations and ceilings. But I think that might have attributed to some of the structural integrity support problems that I had while building root home. So I don't want to duplicate that. I don't want that to happen again. Here is where I'm going to break off. Uh, where's my pillars at? And we're going to try to do something like this without doing actual... Uh, it's not going to snap the ground, is it? Who? Without doing something um, wild. I don't want to have to build this by eye, but I might have to. Um, let's try again with the stair trick. So that snaps... It'll snap like sideways here. And then it goes completely way up. I don't think I can... Yeah, looking down, there's no foundation level base tier support. So that's not that's not going to work. It's not what we want. I want to try to do a full floor elevation. Similar to this, like you come in and you walk up the stairs immediately. I'm going to do one further back, though. And I need to elevate the foundation. And I don't want to do it by eye. I don't want to have to do it by eye. I don't have a half wall that I could snap to. I do have this railing, but it's all it'd be like old school arc style building placing by eye. I don't want to do this, but I don't see another choice. I don't have another choice, it looks like. So we are going to be building a bit by eye. And my goal is... Actually, let me see if I can mess with the placement options. If I turn off magnetic placement, and let me do 140 for the grid. So that would put me... That offsets me like... It offsets me too much from the original build. So let's do... Keep it at 1. Magnetic placement is off. If we try to line this up by eye and then just build off of it. Oh, man. I'm getting arc PSD. PTSD. Not PSD. <laughs> Can't think of build at the same time. Um, how was that? Bad because I want to go one further back. I need to turn on I need to turn on my magnet again. That's why that's not snapping. We're getting real creative here. So this this is the stairs. So this needs to go up. Let's turn off magnet again. Gotta hit my T key. Back to the foundy. And then we eyeball build to about here. Alright, we'll leave the foundation there, just because I feel like it's going to be important for structural integrity. Oh, I gotta put my magnet build back on. Okay. How badly did that scuff? Here's the thing, this is why I don't like eyeball building, because now things might be all super uneven. But if this is like the new... A new center point. I'm like, I'm very zoomed in in real life. My posture is terrible. If anybody's calling for a posture check, I heard you. Insufficient mats. What am I missing? Stone. Let's see if I, I mean, I'm going to have to break some. Go get, get more stone. Uh, I'm in the zone. Unless I got some in here. No, I used it all. Let's break this layer. Vacuum. We'll do a stone run here in just a moment. I want to make sure that this looks good, though. That's outer. 
Okay, this will be what this is this is outer layer uh this is inner layer snap please there we go that should need to go there we need to make a wall or two oh what am i missing for walls oh more stone hey what do you know Yeah, I need to make a wall or two to visualize this properly. Oh, let's do a window there. I like these windows very much. Hmm. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get a bit more advanced. There. That's what I like to see. That's what I want. I'm doing the weird placement on purpose here uh we'll do a regular wall and then and do a window is it the same both ways i don't think it matters insufficient materials so we're slightly over half with that build it's getting dark, so it's a good time to go get, um, to go get, uh, stone and things of that nature. But I would like to have done a full wall. I might still be able to. I might be able to better eyeball place this now that I have a guideline here. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Let me better eyeball place this now that I have a better guideline. Uh, like I have a, almost a literal box. Foundations. Hey, we got to turn off building snap. We're getting very, very pantsy. Okay, that. We'll build it to the point that we just almost can't. Okay, I think that's our. I think that's our snap point. I think that's our new focal. Still need this. Oh, I have built it. No wonder I had magnet off. This is going to look much better. So I'll wall. Since this is all snapping, I'll wall that. Oh, it's not snapping. Hello. Just a small bit of building difficulty. I need to snap off the foundation, not the wall. Okay. And then we build wall all the way through and add the stairs at the point. Let's create more stone. We've gathered and built ourselves into the winter months at this stage. And Root Home version 2.0 is coming along extremely nicely. I'm really, I'm really proud of, of what we've got going on here. So I didn't want to make something look like super conventional. So I started playing around with the exterior here and I just send these like uh, curved walls, and I really liked what happened. It was a bit of an accident, but I, I connected it all together in the same manner to give us like a, a bit of an opener space here. Opener? Yeah, an opener space down here that can function as a workshop. And then we've got everything sort of outlined in stone. Now, you may remember that I had the foundations that I placed by eye. I elevated them, and then I tried to encase them in the walls, uh, to make it look good. I was starting with that build and then I was realizing it was taking way more resources than was, was necessary. And it wasn't giving me any additional structural integrity because the foundation, since I was placed by eye, were off of the snap points. So I wasn't really snapping anything to them. So what I did is I made sure that all of the uh, walls here have stone level foundation support, which should give me the maximum integrity. And I decided since I was cutting all that stuff out anyway, that I could turn this place into a bit of a cellar. And I thought that seemed like really, really neat and cool. And who knows what we could put down there. It's a, it could be storage or whatever. And then if you look on the side, we have kind of like the, the patio, the walkway, and then a balcony surrounding it, which I'm planning to build up. So hopefully now we should be done with our stone base level of Root Home 2. 
and we're going to start to work on the actual like laying of all the other stuff which is more of the wood that we broke down and repurposed and are reusing from original root home which we had a ton of ton of the wood ton of the bark we farmed out all of that stuff way earlier and we're recycling and things are going to look really, really good. So I'm uh, I'm excited about this cellar. It kind of came to me in the moment, too, as I was breaking out those... Because I had placed down the foundations that I had went back and, like, broke them out. Uh, and then used the extra stone stuff to make all this walkway look nice. But it kind of came to me when I was doing that. And I was like, oh, that could be really cool. Let's have, like, a really neat cellar down here. And... I still don't know what I'm going to put that. Maybe we can make bug wine and store wine in the cellars. Who knows? But... Let's protect it. So let's put this here and that there. And since this is going to be a bit of a uh, like an exterior walkway, let's start walling things off so I can get a, a, a blueprint in my mind of sorts of how this is all going to look. So and, and I, I can show you, I can paint the picture of what I'm thinking to you guys who are watching and very as hopefully just as excited about this build as I am. So let's have like a little exit point to the balcony uh let's get some more where's my round rail here you are okay we got a round rail there i'm gonna have to go through and repair all of this stuff once it's built by the way because it's just not sheltered and it's going to be taking constant damage until i'm done it's a small price to pay it's a small price to pay for brilliance i feel like this place is absolutely brilliant so we're going to make this a hard stop boom Okay. Oh, not that. That's not what you want to see. Yeah, I didn't have this fully planned out in my head. This is all kind of like coming to me at the moment. I had like a, a general idea of what I wanted to do. And it started with that like door frame kind of thing. I was like, oh, okay, I want a, like a grand entrance and I want a bottom layer of the stone. And then we're going to work our way up like a stone wood combo because I think that would look really, really cool. And that's that's kind of that's exactly where we started and this is where we're landing uh let's do here i should do a window let's do a window i i much appreciate the windows and i feel like they're underutilized in a lot of stuff uh we will do a window and a window I want to make sure I have plenty of entrances and exits to the uh, to the balcony. I'm not using any doors. Currently at the state of the game, I've noticed that doors like don't really work. Like they're disappearing on me. I put doors before and they were like disappearing on me when I log out and log back in. So we're not using any doors. If you're wondering what's going on there. It's an all open air concept. Sweet. Very sweet. All right, this is what I'm concerned about. The transition from stone to wood here. It doesn't look good. Okay, that's that's what I was worried about. I was worried about that not looking good, and that's okay. Uh, we don't need to put too terribly much focus on it because this is going to be like a workshop. So I'm going to build up in stone. We'll do non-window. We'll do non-window in stone. I'm going to build up in stone because it looks like it's more fortified, and then we'll go up another layer in wood, and I'm going to with the roofing tiles over that. I like where this is headed now. So transition from st like stone to wood. I need a good snap here. Let's get up. The transition from stone to wood, I don't think looks that great. Oh, I got multiple snaps. You saw that, right? That's the good one. That's the one that's that's the one we want. Want the one so that it lines up. Yeah, this is... Let me try this. Actually, let me try this. No. That wasn't the one that we wanted. I need the one that's over here. Oh, ah, crap! <laughs> I do good and then I do bad. That's just tragic. Let's see, snap off that. Uh, let's get rid of this. Put my hammer away so I can see what I've done. I think that's okay. I 
think that's okay. Because what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit better is we're going to continue our reinforcement pattern and I'm going to do it all the way up. It's going to fill the little like gaps that were created. Okay. I'm happy with that. I don't think it looks terrible. So let's go ahead and uh, stack these. Oh, come on. Stack, stack for me. Oh, that's not what you want to see. There we go. Jumping and building. And I put one here, too. It would snap much easier. Building the wall first seems to snap easier. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Let's try to get you snap. Ooh, what? I am seeing inside the stairs and it's obstructing my visions. All right. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Uh, let's do a couple of stone windows. We're going to transition into stone. The front will be... Oh, or maybe I should do wood here. Yeah, yeah, we should do wood here. We should transition the wood here. So a couple of wood. I bet I could get halves because of the stairs. So let's start our wood transition with this. Yes. Oh, that looks good. I'm glad that that's coming together like that. Okay, so now things are going to get a little wonky, though. Can I do wood, wood, and have it not look terrible? I think we can. I think we can do wood, wood, and have it not look terrible. I need to do the window first. Okay, wood, and then half wood. Just double check that. Make sure it doesn't look awful. Yeah, it's like, since it's wood on wood, it's like, it's impossible to even notice. Yes, I'm really happy how that turned out. I'm really happy how that turns out. All right. Now we got to start working on some of our roofing stuff, and I'm going to do a hangover here. Uh, but let's do... Which ones are going to look the best? We're going to stick with this, like, the, the wooden roof style look. I don't think there is a stone roof. I think it would look very strange if there was a stone roof. We're going to stick with this. Probably either a concave or a convex. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking concave is the way. If we can make the turn. We need to probably do one more here. I don't think this is going to snap well. I might have to hit the drawing board. Uh, we can make that work. I think we can make that work. As I freeze to death slowly. Oh, it's gonna, it's coming out. That's because it didn't snap. Oh, is there a storm? There's a storm coming. I don't have time for you, storm. I'm building. Oh, please snap. Okay, so that kind of like cuts in. Oh, that's very noticeable. Although it might not be bad. It kind of solves another problem that I was having. It kind of solves another problem I was having, like, accidentally. I may roll with this. As my tree shakes and sways that I freeze to death. Oh, I'm freezing. That's not good. I am actually freezing. Hmm. It kind of looks good. It kind of looks really good. Happy accidents. 
Bob Ross would be so proud. We've got the roof placed on and all of our crafting stations rebuilt, so it gives me great pleasure to welcome you guys to new Root Home. Welcome! I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys are liking what I've done with the place. I'm really digging it. But let's give you the full tour since we kind of left you without a roof on this place. So I started uh, really playing around with a lot of the, the roofing stuff to make sure that we could get kind of the idea of what we wanted. So we've got a front porch slash crafting area. It's made out of stone. And this is where all of the kind of magic happens. The, the main like industrial style crafting, like our blacksmithing table, our workbench, our forge, anything that would potentially be flammable. I've also got our kitchen out here because we don't like fire and wood mixed together. And then up some stairs into the more living quarters area with, I, I actually splurged and made the fancy bed just because we're like making this our forever home. Repurposed all the chests, moved them all in here, got all our crafting stations, everything's well lit. So at nighttime, it's uh, not so dark, not so dim. And this is not as high a traffic area. I feel like these crafting stations, I don't use them as much as I use like these. I mean, workbenches I place everywhere, but yeah. I wanted something that I could just like pop in here real quick and just boom, boom, boom. Or if I respawn, just run right out, you know, jump, jump into whatever the fray. So I've got like all my food related stuff stored here and the like crafting stuff. So that's what I tried to do with the chests. Very similar to what I did with Old Root Home is I moved, I took the ingredients for the stations that they were necessarily used at and like just put them in a chest next to it. So that's the sorting system that I currently have in place. We'll start at the bottom and work our way here to the top. I did talk about making a cellar. We finished the foundations in here just because it looked a little bit weird without all of them. I put the green firefly torches in here just because I thought it looked really cool. And we have a ton of room for activities down here with not a lot else. Uh, maybe something in the future can go in here. Small land is still in early access. Who knows? We may have some like interesting stuff that can be placed in uh, in our cellar. More crafting stations, perhaps a little cool secret, secret ish area behind the stairs that I had to place a torch in. Well, uh, we've got the windmill built back up balcony out here just for like enjoyment purposes and quick access to any direction of the tree that we want to jump and fly off of. I just like I just think it looks neat. I just thought it was pretty. So I was really excited to to um, to build this out and this was kind of like a happy accident. So we did this one or earlier when we were building the walls. We had these like little gap things which we ended up building the, the roofing tiles through. And I thought it looked really, really good. So we kept it. And then I just happened to plop one of the railings on there and put a torch there. And lo and behold, like I wasn't expecting this, but it is somehow that the twig is not. But this is like somehow sheltered because of the roofing tile. So the uh, the the twig torch is not sheltered. I wonder if this one is. So it might eventually break to the elements. Yeah, these and I'm OK with that. If that eventually breaks the elements, that's no big. We've got plenty of other lighting uh, all around this place, but everything should be protected and sheltered minus those two torches from any type of storm. So my balconies aren't going to break or anything like that. We've got an upstairs part, another balcony. It's all roofed off, so everything should be protected. Uh, I did kind of like a weird entrancey thing here. I I kind of like I kind of like it, but the what I was thinking is I might turn this into like a hornet garage. I know you can only have one tame. Maybe that'll change later in the future, but I might just have some of my creatures up here. So I made the roof relatively high. Uh, I might make this area, like this door, more open, similar to the ones downstairs, but it, that all kind of depends on what the direction is of small land kind of goes in. Are we just always going to be able to have one tame and that's it? But who knows? Having more space to expand than having too small of a base is a is a better problem to have, in my opinion. So that's kind of where we went with that. But I hope you guys are digging it. I hope you guys are liking new Root Home or Root Home 2, if you prefer, because I am absolutely in love with this. This is the best part. Obviously, this is the best part. The front end of the house. It all starts out in stone, transitions to wood, but the open concept and this great, like, grandiose entryway because we've phased outdoors. They keep disappearing on us anyway. 